The block in this problem is attached to a string that goes through a hole in the center of the table so that it moves in a circular path at an angular speed of 2.85 radians per second. We're told that someone pulls down on the string, reducing the circle's radius to half of its initial value, and we're asked to find the new angular speed. We'll solve this part of the problem using Newton's second law for rotation. The sum of the torques equals the time derivative of the angular momentum. There are no torques acting on the block because the tension force is directed towards the center of the circle, so it has no moment arm. That means that the angular momentum L never changes. Its initial value equals the final value at any later time. The initial magnitude of the angular momentum is this moment of inertia times the initial omega, and the final value at a later time is the new moment of inertia times the new omega. The moment of inertia of a point particle, a distance r from the origin, is mr squared. So we substitute that on both sides of the equation and solve for the new angular speed omega nu. Recognizing that the ratio r over the new radius equals 2, we substitute values and calculate finding the new angular speed of 11.4 radians per second. Part B asks us for the work done by tension on the block as the circle's radius is cut in half. We'll find this using the work kinetic energy theorem. Work done by all forces is the change in kinetic energy. Tension is the only force doing work. So that equals the change in the rotational kinetic energy, one half I omega squared. Final or new values minus the initial values. We substitute MR squared for the moment of inertia and simplify the expression. Finally, substituting all the values and calculating. Finding that the work done is 2.74 times 10 to the minus two joules. The work is positive because the block moved inward in the same direction as the tension force on the block.